Powter on BBC Radio Leeds. Now, uh, we are getting a little bit creative uh, because it is what we're calling Up For Arts Thursday. And um, what did I do last week? I made some bunting last week. You can still get the template for uh, VE Day. It's online. It's on um, the BBC website forward slash make a difference. If you go on there, you might be able to make some bunting in time for tomorrow. Now, um, today I've got some paper in front of me. I've got crayons. I've got oil pastels. So I'm going to be talking to somebody I've actually spoken to before. Um, The last time I saw her, she was in this studio wearing a white lab coat. And that is because she is an art doctor. Her name is Alison McIntyre. And she joins me now. Hello, Alison. Hello, Gail. How are you? I'm not too bad. How are you? I'm all right, thank you. I am actually wearing my lab coat with paint splatters and my stethoscope, even though we're on radio and you can't see me. Of course you are. It's like me. I yeah. have to. I still have to put clothes on and 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 do my face. You know, you've got yeah. you've got to get ready for the job, aren't you? That's the that's it's the thing. Important. It is. Yes, it's um, important. <laughs> remind us, what is an art doctor? What do you normally do? So normally we'd be out there with the public and we'd be writing prescriptions to people. Now, we sometimes, as I think we did for you last time we were on on your show, we write people's prescriptions to go and see works of art in art galleries um, and kind of encourage a very kind of whatever your response is, whatever your reaction is, that's absolutely valid and sort of start conversations about contemporary art particularly. Um, But we're also really interested in creativity and sort of everyday creativity and things that people can just do without any artistic uh, experience or sort of being a professional. So, um, So we've also, we do spend time out in the public writing prescriptions for things that people can try at home as well. Oh, it's brilliant. I, I love it. It's a wonderful idea and it just sort of, it cheers everybody up as well. I wonder oh, in, in these in these strange times, ding, 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 bizarre times, yes. ding, 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 because we're yes. saying that a lot. Um, what are you doing at the moment though? Are you just not able to get out at all or...? Well, we're not able to get out and do any public events, no. which we did have planned for this year, um, particularly over the summer. But um, what we decided instead, well, Liz and I, who's my my fellow main art doctor, um, mm. we just ha- sort of had a, a very sort of personal response that we wanted to still spend time together in a way that we could. So we decided to get together once a week on um, online and make something together and just sort of do something fun and silly um that we could be creative as well and then we thought well we might as well make them into a film if they're if we're (laughs) going to be online anyway so we've made some um some films which we're releasing uh every friday on our social media channels called lockdown specials and they're they're basically things that people can try they can just laugh at us if they want and laugh at us laughing at each other um but also people can just sort of have a go they're all things that you might have at home and you can just have have a mess around with really fantastic well um i've got my paper in front of me i've got some crayons or some oil pastels and i believe we're going to do some emotional drawing what is that yes so this is something we we did this uh one time in our in one of our films we actually did it through the week ourselves and then when we did our film we talked about doing it so people can have a look at that if they want to but um we sort of came up with the idea that sometimes it's quite nice maybe at the end of a day just to sort of have a bit of a time to reflect and think about how you felt that day and try and kind of visually put that down on a piece of paper and it sometimes helps you to just sort of it's a little bit like meditation I suppose um So you can use either the crayons that you've got or the oil pastels. Either will do. Mm -hmm. Whatever you choose, really. But what am I going to... Am I just going to start drawing and see what happens? I'm going to ask you some questions. A little bit like a diagnostic thing that we did before. Okay. So... um, so shall I start? Yes, please. Yeah. Good. Are you ready? I am. Um, So I'm just... I suppose, how are you feeling today or right now? Um, I, quite, quite honestly, um, I feel, I feel really, I feel really good at the moment, good. and um, I feel really, I feel really lucky to be doing this and talking to people, and I feel really cheered up just by the the kindness of of people at the moment so like generally generally I feel really good but like as 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 far as the show is concerned I've been on since 
10 o'clock this morning and anybody who's listened to the whole show might <laughs> might realise that I've actually been on a bit of an emotional roller coaster. So in many ways, okay. my my head is absolutely fit to burst, but almost in a in a in a good way, in a joyous way. Yeah. It does does that okay. does that help? Yeah, that really helps. So I think what you can start, start what you can start to think about, keep it really simple. This obviously it's art doctors. It's yeah. not about perfect pieces of artwork or anything. But thinking about some of those things. So you've got like that positivity, feeling good about things, maybe feeling good about connecting. So if you maybe think about a few um colours that might yeah. represent those good positive feelings for you. So maybe pick out a few colours from your oil pastels that don't overthink it, you know, just go, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah these yeah. colours feel right for how oh, I feel. Yes, yes, yes. And then I think I I, I'm, I don't want to do it for you, but okay. I think you were almost picking out some shapes from <gasps> what you were talking about. I think I was. Well. Yeah. Yeah, I feel yeah. like I was. Shall okay. I just shall so I just I start, just Alison? Go. Yeah, right. just start. Okay. Use those colours yeah. that, that you felt really kind of felt good. And then uh, think about the shapes. And maybe you can sort of talk to us about what you're doing as you're doing it. Okay. At the moment, I thought I was going to draw, I thought I was going to draw a cloud, like with real soft edges. And actually, what I've drawn is I've taken a magenta uh, crayon and I've almost Mm -hmm. drawn the outline. And this is going to sound very dramatic, but I've almost (laughs) drawn the outline of a, you know, like an explosion. So it's actually really jagged. Right, but it's really, wow. really yes. quite colourful. And I'm just trying to uh, solidify the edges a little bit. So okay. I'm sort of going over them. But my idea is that I'm then going to I'm gonna move in and I'm going to come in a little bit further and I'm going to just colour the edges. Inside your shape. I'm coming yeah. inside the shape. So you've got some sort of, um, you've got a lot of energy, it feels like, it, in there, which is I that feeling so. of that sort of roller coaster of things and yeah. the positive energy that you're sort of sending out through the airwaves for I've everybody. I've got a really vivid yellow at the moment that's an oil pastel, nice. not not the crayon. So I'm using both, actually. Yep. Oh, and okay, it's, yeah, great. It's, almost, it's sunny almost and it's just round the edges of the spiky bits. So it's not, I haven't gone all the way in. I've just gone into the spikes on the right, edge. Yep. So um, I'm, I'm assuming that at some point this picture can go onto social media and everyone can see it. Oh, and, yeah, you know, I'll probably I'm, sell I'm it guessing and that's the idea. make yeah. a fortune. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah, do that. It'll be okay. in Leeds Art Gallery before Oh, we know gosh. It. Well, I've seen all sorts in there, to be honest with you, Alison. <laughs> some of it brilliant, some of it not my cup of tea. But that's the thing about you, isn't it? You're all right with that, aren't you? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. That's the whole point. And, and what we try and do is kind of give people the the confidence and the and the opportunity to say well oh, no that's not my cup of tea and I can actually tell you why so, yeah 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 so when where next do you need to ask me any more questions or do you think I'm I'm, I'm on I my way I think you've got it you sound yeah. like you've just absolutely got it there yeah can I ask if, if I was to do this on you right now what kind of yeah. thing might you be drawing today what might be coming out of you Oh, today, yeah. yeah, today feels like a really positive day, actually. I've been for a walk oh. and I've spent um, I've spent some time on a Zoom, obviously, talking with some people in a really positive way. Mm. So, yeah, today for me would be, I think, quite a calm positivity. I think yours is that very jaggedy. I think mine might be more sort of wavy lines and probably some some sort of blues and greens in yeah. there. yeah. But yeah. maybe a little bit of sort of sparky, sparky, spiky energy. Oh, what well, coming off it? Of feeling. Sort of some yeah, sparks coming off like it. That. Why? Why yeah. do you think this is a good thing to do? Is it just important to maybe connect with your, with yourself a little bit? I think for some people that's really helpful. When we did this ourselves as art doctors, three of us did it, and one of us, not me, actually, uh, Liz, found it. Um, found she just couldn't do it every day because she just was a little bit scared of her emotions and she just would kind of go oh this is I don't really want to dwell on it so I think it's it's really different for everybody Mm. how they might want to engage with it she ended up sitting in the garden one day and just making a load of sort of visual representations of emotions with her kids and that felt really positive for her so I think it's really different for everybody but for some it might be a really nice thing to do at the end of a day and sort of collect them over a week. So we did, I did one every day for a week and then um, just sort of looked at them all and can kind of go, okay, that's what's happening with me. That's, 
that's really interesting and I enjoyed that feeling of connecting with my emotions each day yeah I think it's you know if you're not massively arty it is hard to think about art as being therapeutic isn't it do you do you know yeah. what I mean it's hard because if I you do. think oh it's not really it's not really for me but but actually when and you it do can be it a bit intimidating mm. if you're thinking oh my god I've got to, to do art I've got to draw something that looks exactly like the thing I'm looking at and that's quite intimidating I think but I think the simplicity of if you just think about colors and shapes I think your emotions connect in a really easy way to yeah. colors and shapes and so then you've made something and even if I'd had a really difficult day and it had been stressful and hard and or I felt worried about the world when I drew that I looked at it and thought oh well at least I've made a thing at the end of the day oh do you know what so even if I don't feel I feel just better that I've made something hey I tell you what Alison you are gonna mm. be well impressed with this I'll tell you what I've done oh, really first of all yeah. I've wrecked uh, yeah. all Jane's oil pastels uh Jane who, uh, who, who is so lovely she's our up for arts producer she sets this up and she gives me bits and pieces yeah, she's not yeah. going to be pleased about her oil pastels. They were perfect before <laughs> I started. But yeah, I've got this big jagged shape. It's like an explosion. It's yellow on the outside. It's it's pink on its outermost and it's jagged. And then it comes further in and it's and there's some more pink in there. There's that really tealy, vivid blue in there as well. Um, and then right in the middle, right in the middle, there yeah. is uh, I've gone I've gone yellow crayon, and it's actually quite calm in the middle. It's actually quite. Ah. It's 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 and and actually, as the as the blue runs into the yellow, it's a little bit yeah. green as well. So, yeah, I think nice. with with all my with with all my outer joy, there is some inner peace, Alison. And maybe the outer joy is creating the inner peace for Who you. Knows? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We could, we could analyse it forever. <laughs> Do you know what? I really enjoyed that. That was absolutely See, wonderful. Good. Um, I'm glad. I will. And that's the whole point, really. Yeah. Is that you do it and you have fun doing it. It did have fun doing it, and uh, we will put Good. that. We will put that somewhere. <laughs> Yes, um, but if, if people would like to have a look at your videos, um, your yes. your lockdown videos, your lockdown specials, just tell us where exactly should they go. Okay, so they can go to our website, which is artdoctors.org.uk, and there's a link there to the playlist on YouTube that they can have a look at all of them. We're also releasing them every Friday, a new one. Mm -hmm. um, so if they want to follow us on any of the social media, we're at underscore doctors on Twitter and Instagram. And then on Facebook, you can just search for Art Doctors or we're at artdoctors.org. Brilliant. Well, um, Alison McIntyre, I consider myself treated and I'm, I'm ready to Excellent. crack on with the day. You have a lovely day. Thank you so much for your time. Our art doctor no, thank there. Thank you. Thank you. Take care, Alison. Bye bye. Bye.